welcome to your roadmap to avoiding the wrong realtor again. All right, here's the three things you need to do, the three things you need to navigate. The first one is this, get your mind right. What do I mean by get your mind right? I mean, you're doing something, you're about to do something that nobody does. Nobody interviews an agent. I'm telling you, I've been an agent for a long time. No one ever interviews me. People don't actually interview me. And in fact, very recently, I had the occasion to have an interaction with another agent who was dealing with a client who sent out questions, similar questions to those questions I recommend that people ask. And virtually everyone in the office that saw the post about those questions was annoyed, irritated, and indignant that someone would dare to ask these questions. I'm telling you, you're going to ask these questions and you're going to get a lot of questions, a lot of funny looks, you're going to get a lot of stuff back at you that may not be comfortable. Ready? Here's my response. Tough. Tough for them. Tough for them. Really? That's crazy to me. Suppose your house is worth $500,000. Just, let's just say, okay, that's $30,000 in commission that you're about to spend. $30,000 you're going to spend. And people are going to give you a hard time about interviewing someone to take that money? There's an agent out there that's going to not answer your questions, and I promise you, you're going to send out these questions and people are not going to respond. They're not going to know how to respond. You're going to occur like a pain in the toughness. It's going to be a little bit dicey, but you know what? What's my answer? Tough. That's your $30,000, and it's, I, I recommend you spend the $30,000 because when you find the right agent, they're going to make you a lot more money than you would make selling it yourself. I promise you the right agent will make you more than that $30,000 more. However, you've got to be prepared that there's going to be not a lot of people. Most people, and in fact, sorry, but you, even up until now, put about as much effort into picking the right agent as they do where they're going to eat dinner. They check online. Oh, let's go see the Yelp reviews. Oh, let's go see the Zillow reviews. Okay, and let's ask my friends, did you like that restaurant? Hey, do you like that realtor? All right, that's, but that's how much you put into going to dinner, not spending $30,000 selling the most expensive asset you have. No, you're going to do a little bit more work, okay? So you've got to get straight, you've got to get your mind right. You're actually going to do the work that is to be done and the work that nobody does. Everyone's going to think you're nuts. Ready? What's my response? Tough. All right, that's number one. Get your mind right. Second piece in the roadmap. So now your mind's right. You're ready to go. Now what you want to do is create a call for bids. It's a really common thing in business, a call for bids. You have a project. You're calling for bids. What's the project? Getting my house sold. That's the project. You're going to actually do an interview process, okay? You're not really actually calling for bids. You're not going to call for the best price. But you are going to call to see who's the best suited for it, all right? And how you're going to do that is really easy. Look, everyone is born with a mom, a dad, and they know a realtor, okay? Everyone, everyone knows a realtor. No one you know doesn't know a realtor. Everyone has a realtor. If you posted it on your social media site, hey, who, give me the name of a good realtor, you get 50 in a minute, all right? And I recommend that you get 50. Get as many as you can. Find them the way you would know. Find them the same way you found the first one. It doesn't matter how you find them, but have a pool of realtors. And you're going to, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to send out to them via email. You're going to get their email address. I don't want you doing this on the phone. I don't want you wasting a lot of time. I want you to actually demand of them that they respond in the way you would expect someone you're interviewing for a job to respond. They should come dressed professionally. They should be on time. They should answer the questions at the, all the stuff. Okay? So you're going to do a call for bids. You're going to send out the questions. And uh, the questions are the seven questions that I, I'm telling you to use in my book. I've also included in this, in the fire, in the document section, the questions that you can just cut and paste into an email. And you're going to send them out. You're going to say, hey, here's my home address. And here's the questions that I'd like to ask you before I interview you. These are pre-interview questions. You're actually, and I promise you, for every 10 of these you send out, you'll get two answers, okay? Eight people are going to think you're too much of a pain. They're not going to want to do it. Or 
<coughs> excuse me, they're simply not going to know the answers to the questions, which tells you everything you need to know about that realtor. Just as a sidebar, what a realtor knows, if you ask a realtor, any average realtor, tell me about your business, how's business, they will tell you how many units they've sold or how much volume they've done. So 100 houses this year, over 40 million, something like that, okay? That's fabulous information if you're them. No, the information you want is, uh, is how much money did you put in the pockets of your clients when you sold the house above average? How much overlit asking price have you gotten this year? That's how much of your business is referral business. Those are the kind of questions you want to get the answers to, okay? You want to get the kind of answers that tell you something about how they're going to do for you. The number of units they sold doesn't tell you. Someone who sold 40 units and someone sold 200 doesn't tell you anything. It tells you they were faster on those 200. They got 200 people because why? No one interviewed them. You still don't know anything about their performance. Remember this. Success leaves a track record. You are looking for the track record. That's all you're asking. So, step two is send out the interviews. Send out the interview, send out the pre-interview questions, sorry. You're gonna send out the pre-interview questions. That's two. Step three in the roadmap. Now you've got the answers back. And you probably wanna wind up with about three good sets of answers. Now in this, in the Kindle Fire you have, I've set up a separate interview, a separate um, video, there you go, a separate video and in that video are our answers to those seven questions. All right, so you can see what a success track record looks like, because we've had, we've been in business over 10, 12 years, we've never had a listing expire. So, it's never happened to us. We outperform anywhere, our motto, our value proposition is better performance, better service, better results, every time, and that is really what we provide. So, when I answer the questions, you can, you're looking for answers like that, okay? Um, and if you're selling in Seattle, I'd love to get a chance to be interviewed, but that's not really the point. The point is this, you really want to get, that's what answers sound like. So you're going to get three people that answer those well, okay? Then you're going to bring them in for a face-to-face. -face. Because it is important that you like them. It is important that you connect. It is important that you actually know something about them and that you want to spend time with them and that you actually get other questions that might be important to you answer. Answered and I've included 25 possible interview questions that I thought were fun and interesting questions. You're welcome to use any, none, all. I, I wouldn't use all. 25 questions is ridiculous, but use some of them or make up your own. But the point is, you want to get together with them and see something about them. And then from there, you now know their track record of success. You know what they're like as a person to be with. You get a sense, you can use your gut. I'm not telling you don't use your gut. I'm just saying don't only use your gut. Why? Because you wouldn't be watching this video if your gut worked. Sorry, that is how that is, right? And you really do want to look for someone who's going to be straight with you. you we don't take every, why we had never had a listing expired is we don't just take any listing we can get. If a seller has an unrealistic expectation of the price, we're not going to take it. So you want to find someone who's going to be straight with you, and you can do that in a face-to-face, -face, okay? Those are the three steps. They're really easy, all right, but just nobody does them. So get your mind right, get ready to go, send out those questions, and then set up three interviews. And I promise you, one of those three people, if you did your homework, will in fact get your home sold, all right? Thank you. Give me a call if you have any questions. Have a good time. Good luck. Mm -hmm.